Hey, what's going on guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces. In this video, I want to talk about preparing yourself for the Zen 3 or Ryzen 5000 series uh, launch uh, because there's a lot of questions and concerns regarding, you know, whether you're on the B or X400 series motherboards and the B or X500 series motherboards and whether or not your motherboard was supported. So I hope that this information in this video will help you out. Everything that I'm going to showcase or talk about, at least in, as far as articles, are going to be linked in the description below if you want to check it out. But motherboard manufacturers are releasing BIOS updates for the B500 series right now. The B400 series, though, we're going to have to wait until 2021, unfortunately. And I know some people want to may want to get it day one on launch day, November 5th, and just go ahead and slap it in their B450 motherboard, but it won't do um, unless the manufacturer does release an update prior to the date. However, it's unlikely. AMD is working with these manufacturers to do so, but it's very unlikely that it will happen. In short, whether you're 400 series or 500 series motherboard, what you're looking for, if you go to your manufacturer's uh, page, right? If you just Google the name of your motherboard and you go to the manufacturer's page, there's always a support section in which you can go and then you select BIOS. What you're looking for is a GISA version 108 or 1 1.08 or higher that's what you're looking for if you see that then your motherboard will support the ryzen 5000 series cpus uh asus is, is doing it msi biostore godlike all of them not every single model but most of them are for example on the x570 boards we got the mpg x570 uh, gaming pro carbon the, uh, the Meg X570 Godlike, Meg uh, uh, X570 Ace, Unify, Tomahawk Wi-Fi. Uh, then on the B550 for MSI, we got the, the Gaming Plus, the Gaming Carbon, Tomahawk, Gaming Edge, Mortar, uh, and Mortar Wi-Fi. And you can see on the MSI page, if I go here, on at the end of August, they actually released the Agisa version that you guys need. At least this is just looking at the Tomahawk, but they released the, the version that you guys need to support the 5000 series CPUs. And then they actually came out with a revision not too long ago at the end of September of uh, 1100 or 1 1.100. Um, as for me though, I have an ASUS B450 tough and I do not fit in that category. The B550 does, and you can see here that they did release a GSA version 1.0.8, which is like I said, Either that number or higher, you support 5000 series. So ASUS, MSI, certain boards are good to go. On the B450 front, I went to my manufacturer's page. I looked at the recent BIOS, which was released on July 17, 2020, and I am on 1006. That means I am not supported, or my motherboard won't support the uh, Ryzen 5000 or Zen 3 CPUs. So what if you already have the motherboard, uh, like a B450 or X470, and you want to get the new CPU. Well, then you're going to have to wait to January 2021. However, if you don't have a motherboard yet and you're thinking of getting one, let me share some tips with you, or at least some, some thoughts, and then you can make an informed decision. Only certain motherboard manufacturers have this. For example, if you look at ASRock, or excuse me, ASUS, in the upper left hand corner of the IO, or in the bottom left here, as you can see, there's a button that says BIOS flashback and next to it's a USB port and both are outlined. Okay. Moving over to the MSI, we have something very similar flash BIOS button and then the USB ports outlined on gigabytes, a little bit different, but it, it does show where it is. So it's more towards the middle in the, in the, uh, cluster of USB ports and it says Q flash plus, and then the BIOS USB is actually white. Now you can use that as a regular USB, but that's specifically where you would plug in a USB drive. Because what you can do with these motherboards, not all manufacturers have it, because ASRock, if you look at it, does not have a BIOS flashback button. Okay. Why is this button good? Well, say for example, you don't have a motherboard yet, you want to get a 5000 series CPU, and you're looking at the B500 X500 uh, series motherboard. Well, I would look at these manufacturers, um, and I'm not sure if every single one has it or don't have it, but look at the motherboard and look at the I.O. and see if it has a button and a USB port that maybe is a different color or is outlined. Because you could take a USB and you would have to format it to FAT32, and then you can go download the BIOS 
And it, there's instructions to it too. For example, on ASUS, when you download the BIOS, it says before running the USB uh, uh, BIOS flashback tool, please rename the BIOS file. And then it has a name using the BIOS renamer, right? So ASUS has a tool to do it and it gives you instructions on what to do. Um, for other manufacturers, I would recommend following whatever steps they have, but you can download the BIOS. You can, uh, you know, move it over to a, uh, a USB stick that's uh, formatted as FAT32, plug it into one of these USB ports, and then hit that button. And you can do all that without having a CPU. So you don't have a 3000 series CPU or any older generation CPU. And you want to prepare this motherboard to handle Zen 3 because not all motherboards off the off the rip when they're sold to you will have 5000 series compatibility now maybe Newegg is doing something like they did with the 3000 series but it's kind of a catch 22 what they did with the 3000 series is they did have marketing on there that said you know Ryzen 3000 ready or you know Ryzen 3000 series uh approved or whatever letting you know that that motherboard is ready to handle or be equipped with a Ryzen 3000 series CPU if Newegg is doing that with this, the, the catch-22 is not all of the motherboards are the same. Some of them might have 16 megabytes of EEP ROM, and some of them might have 32, and so on and so forth. And the different manufacturers provide different sizes. Well, when you flash the BIOS, you're overriding the old. And in some cases, your motherboard may not be able to step back. So if you update the 5000 series or to allow a 5000 series CPU to work on your motherboard, you may not be able to go backwards to allow a 3000 series uh, CPU to be slotted in and, and good to go. That's the catch 22. If Newegg started doing that with most of these motherboards, then the motherboard can only be paired with 5000 series CPU, limiting them as far as selling potential. If they leave it up to the consumer, then it's going to be up to us to update the BIOS, which is it's not hard, but not every consumer wants to do it, or they, it, it may be a little intimidating to them. So even though it may be easy for us, you gotta be considerate of others. Now, AMD will have a program out there where you can actually order a uh, older generation CPU, they'll ship it to you, and uh, you just you know slot that in, put that in, install, install the motherboard, and then boot up, go into UAFI, update the BIOS, and then, shut down and then swap out the CPU for your 5000 series and then you're good to go. You ship that that CPU back to AMD, done. A little bit inconvenient, not as efficient as I would like, but the the cool thing is is if you get one of these motherboards and maybe more than just Asus, MSI and Gigabyte, but as of right now, those are the three that I would recommend getting them to make sure that you have a BIOS flashback button. You can avoid all that because you don't need a CPU. You just get the motherboard, right? We get the motherboard. We don't have the, the 5000 series CPU yet, right? It's not November 5th yet. We uh, plug in power, get everything set up. You don't have to install it in the system. If you want to build on the box on top of the static bag, you certainly can. Connect your power supply and everything. Boot up. Um, well, not boot up, but plug your USB stick in with the BIOS, the, the correct BIOS with the correct Agisa version. Hit that button and it will update the BIOS to one that supports the 5000 series CPU. That's a bonus. Or you could just wait for the 5000 series to be in your hand, put it in the socket, and then hit that button anyways, right? You know, just to just to flash and update the BIOS to support the 5000 series CPU. So if you are on 400 series, unfortunately you're going to have to wait to January 2021 like myself with the B4 B450 uh tough motherboard that I have from Asus. But if you have a newer generation B550 with the Q flash or flash uh, BIOS flashback button, then that'll make your life a little bit easier, a little bit more convenient. As for me, I'm probably going to get an ASRock B550 Legend or a similar motherboard with great VRMs and everything. But this is what I'm going to have to do. As a user, I'm going to have to take the CPU, the Ryzen 3600 out of my media system, slot it into this motherboard, Boot up, go into the UEFI, and update the BIOS with the latest revision. Now, they do have the updated BIOS. And like I said, again, look for a GSA version 1.08. I just have to do it a little bit more roundabout route. And I'm going to have to 
disassemble my system, get the CPU out, and then put it into the new motherboard, assemble, you know, at least put a cooler on, power, all that stuff, and load into the BIOS or UEFI to update the BIOS. Now, last thing I want to mention is concerns regarding the second hand market. Let's see, for example, say for example, excuse me, that we're looking for a B450 motherboard and it's 2022, 2021, right? So we're already past the, the Ryzen 5000 series Zen 3 launch. And there's a good motherboard, B450 motherboard that's on sale. And I want to get it. It's under a hundred bucks. Boom. I, I want to get it. If for some reason that user, the seller, updated the BIOS to support the Ryzen 5000 series, but they did not put that in the description. They did not let anybody know. They're just being shysty and just want to sell it to get their money and be gone. If they updated the BIOS and there's no way to go back, again, depending on the manufacturer, the size of the EEP, ROM, and so on and so forth, then when you get that motherboard and you go to put your Ryzen 3600, 3700, whatever it is, into that motherboard, it doesn't work. So now you're going to want your money back and all that stuff. So buying on the second hand market, what I would do is challenge the seller, ask questions of the seller. Hey, did you happen to update the BIOS? Do you know what a GSA version you're on? Like ask hard questions to make sure that you're not getting a motherboard that you're, you're, you know, you, you found a 3600 for really cheap. You found a motherboard for really cheap. You just want to build a quick system for, you know, family, friend, kid, whatever. Make sure you ask the hard questions. So that way you're not getting a, a a motherboard with an updated BIOS that can't support older revisions or older generation CPUs. Just be very careful of that. I can see that kind of being a, a, a sort of problem in the future for, for people that don't care and just want to sell the motherboard. Don't tell anybody that they updated and so on and so forth. But Ryzen series, uh, 5000 series CPUs are exciting and I'm, I'm happy for AMD and what they're doing in the space. They really don't, they're not giving Intel much leg room and they're taking it to them. And so it's going to be exciting. It's just unfortunately for me, and many others out there, the 400 series motherboard won't support it off rip. And for people that are impatient, such as myself, we want to be able to use the 5000 series if available. If it's in my budget and I can get it, I want it. But I'm going to have to get a new motherboard in order to do so. So that's quite disappointing, but we'll just have to play it piece by piece. But I hope the information in this video was useful to you guys. If it was, do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out. Subscribe for more content like this and hit me up in the comments below if you have any questions, concerns, or otherwise. You guys have a great day and take care.